Hey guys, it's Tammy. I am going to be introducing you to the new Shimoda Explore version 2 30 liter backpack. All right, Shimoda has done it again. <laughs> Their Explore series was an excellent bag. Um, it got me through a lot of different adventures, a lot of different places. Then they moved up to the Action X series, which was another great bag. Still is a great bag. They both are great series bags. Um, if you remember correctly, the Action X is the roll top bag um, designed for action photographers, those who are on the slopes, skis, mountain biking, um, trail riding, all different types of things that require high action. That bag was built for that. Um, it is an excellent bag. I've used mine to death. Um, but now they've come out with this guy, the Explore version 2. And let me tell you, it is an awesome awesome bag. Now Shimoda contacted me and asked me if I would do a review of this bag and I said absolutely. I have three of their bags already and I love them and so I did not pay for this bag. This bag was sent to me for free. All my reviews as you well know are open and honest. I like to tell it like it is so everything I'm going to say about this bag is my opinion and it's honest. Oh wow where do I start? <laughs> There are lots and lots and lots of different changes between the two bag series, the Explore and the Action X. And Ian Miller did a video recently explaining in great detail the differences, major differences between these two bags. And so I'll link that above and I'll also link that in the description below so that you can go take a look at it because it goes into a lot more detail than I have time for in this video. I've had a chance to use this bag, um, as you can tell. The front is dirty. It's already been in water. It's already been in the mud. Um, it's been in a waterfall and this bag held up perfectly. This has to be the most comfortable backpack I've ever had on. Um, and I can say that in all 100% honesty. The way that they designed this bag and the materials that the waist, back and shoulder straps are now made of are incredible. Um, I absolutely adore this bag. Now, there are quite a few differences and this bag is currently on a Kickstarter program until July 30th. And with the Kickstarter program, you have the option of a 25 liter, 30 liter, or 35 liter. And your choice of what core unit you want to go inside if you want a starter kit. All the bags come with a rain cover and two cinch straps. So you get a set of cinch straps. These are not on the front when you get it, they're inside the bag. I placed mine on the front. You have the option of placing them across the top, across the bottom, um, and even further back on the sides. There are multiple cinch points on this bag that you can place different things if you need to. And that makes this bag even more versatile. Now the material that this bag is made of is a different However, this bag is not waterproof. Let me say that again for those in the back of the room. This bag is not waterproof. This bag is water resistant. In a light rain, mist, snow, um, this bag is perfect. The zippers are all YKK. They are sealed. Um, however, they are not completely waterproof. Um, and that makes this bag nice and versatile, but because of the rain cover you can place on it, it allows you so that if, like me, you're caught out in a deluge and you get drenched to the bone, you can cover your bag and not worry about your gear. The only place I will warn you that might be a problem is if you wear a rain hat, the back of the bag. Um, against your back. I had that issue with my Action X. The water ran. It was very, very heavy rain and I was quite a ways away from my car. It ran off the hat, down my back, and the only moisture in my bag was just a tiny bit around the very top on the inside. Didn't get anywhere near my gear, didn't harm my gear, nothing. It was just a tiny little bit. That tells you the protection that this bag gives your gear. Now, on the bags, um, just like with the Action X series, you'll notice that there are two side pockets. Okay, these are not out whenever you get the bag. On one side I carry my water bottle, the other side I carry my tripod. There are cinch strap at the top, cinch straps at the bottom. These are attached to the bag and they don't come off. 
when you get the bag, these, I always put my cinch strap through the loop down here on the bottom of the little bag because it helps cinch things tighter to your bag and they don't flop around. But this is actually down inside the side pocket. Zipped up like this. Now you don't have to use this if you don't want to. You can just keep it inside of there. You don't have to take it out. But it's inside of this little zipper pocket here. You unzip it and you pull it out. And there you have your tripod or a water bottle pocket or pocket for your gloves or whatever you decide if you're not a tripod carrier. You can use that and then there's a little loop here on the side that you put the cinch strap through to help tighten it to the side of your bag. That is on both sides. And like I said, I have my water bottle on this side. Now, on this side of the bag is your side access to your core unit that you have inside. And you just zip this around. And this is the side access to your core unit. Now, I don't use side access because of my shoulder. It's hard for me to reach around and pull it or do anything like that. So I keep this closed and I store my ground cover in here. But this, what's really cool is this side over here is a pocket and you can put your um, important documents, your passport or anything that you don't want people to find if they do get into your bag in here. And it just, this whole thing is Velcro on the end. It Velcros open and then you have this whole pocket area here to store your stuff in. You can also take the flap of your um, core unit and place that inside of there. Now, um, now when you zip this back up, the cool thing is, is the zippers go into leather zipper garages, which is really nice because these keep any moisture, dirt, dust, or anything from going into this pocket and potentially into your camera compartment, um, you know, where the zipper meets the bag. And they did these in leather this time, which is really, really nice. Now, the other cool thing is, is on the side of the bag, on all the bags, you have a handle. Now this handle, they've actually made it bigger so that you can actually, and it's a little bit thicker also, both the top and this one, so that you can use this for a luggage cart. So if you have your luggage with the handle up and you just take this and you slide it down in or slide the handle up through, then this will sit sideways on top of your luggage. And they made this larger for that very reason. And it actually works really well, according to some people. You have your cinch straps here on the side. Now the other side is also a slide around pocket, but this side is a little different. When you open this, you'll notice that there are two clear pockets here that zip. And then you have another pocket right here. <clears throat> Go away, bug. This is my rain cover and that's what I keep over here. Then these two pockets here unzip and what these are for is filters. Now, these are not padded. I would not put a filter without it being in a case inside of here because this is literally right up against your core unit. And if you put that in there, and we all know how expensive our glass and resin filters can be, if you drop this or hit this against anything, know how you carry your bag and how you handle your gear, the potential to break those is very high. So I would not put those in there without this. But these are really nice, but you can use these for anything. I don't have anything in here but a rock. <laughs> yeah, I'm that kind of freak. Um, and I haven't decided what I wanna use this for. Um, I carried this thing for five hours yesterday um, and I've carried it and it I haven't still decided what I want because of the the options for this bag are crazy and it goes back up into another zipper garage <laughs> on the front of the bag um, like I said I put my two extra cinch straps up here but on the front of the bag just like um, on the um, Explore series you always you have this big pocket here but on this one and the, neither one of the other two series has this. There's a nice big pocket right here. I have my rain cover for my camera and my lenses and my reflector in there for macro. But there's a nice, big, deep, it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag, pocket and all the way from side to side. It is the entire portion of this bag and it's nice and deep. Slightly padded, but I wouldn't put anything in here that I didn't want to get broke. Um, because it's not padded like the core units are. And then you just tuck your stuff back down inside. 
Now this bag is packed for climbing in the cliffs yesterday, so <laughs> got a lot of stuff in here. Now with the Explore series and the Action X series, there still is this big zipper pouch here, but in the Explore series, they did not have the pockets like the Action X does. Shimoda carried that over to this bag as well. So here you have two clear pockets that both unzip and you can store things in. I have a notebook in here. I have my little um, master manual for my camera, pins, um, my memory card holder and my flashlight and my cleaning pen. But this pocket goes all the way down to the bottom and my fingers are just barely under the edge of my core unit. Um, so it is literally a nice deep pocket for you to put a jacket or anything else in. Now this stretchy one here, that is the pocket that your water bladder sits in. And then they have an attachment loop here at the top. The reason they have this is because you can attach your bladder to here with a carabiner or if it already has an attachment feature to it. So that way as you drink, it's not slushing down inside of here and creating more space and your bag is bulging. It slides in and hugs your bag and, and takes up less space. Now the one thing that they did do with this bag is if you remember on the Explore and the Action X series, the place where you run your tube through was one finger width and it was a pain to run it through there and fish it out because it was so tight to run your hose through. And a lot of your water bladders can have large hoses. This is two finger widths, so you have lots of space to be able to run that hose through there now and out the back of your bag. Now, just like with the Explore and the Action X bags, this also has a main center compartment that has two zipper pouches in it, and then the compartment in the center of them for you to place your items. However, a couple main differences. Mine carries a jacket, wallet, keys, I'll explain why they're in there later, micro cleaning cloth, headlamp, glass case, micro cleaning towels and buffs and a first aid kit and that is the center of the bag now you have the pocket here and you have a pocket here this one is made of a netting material this one is not and the reason why this is padded yeah you heard that right this is padded this is you can put your cell phone in or anything you don't want to get damaged this is a very very nice nice pouch. Um, I have, I, I won't show you what's inside those, but it's actually very nice and um, they're nice and deep. However, the padded one also has key ring holder. Now the reason I don't put them on the key ring in here is because of all the stuff I have down inside of there. It's easier for me to just take my keys, put them right here on the side, and then all I have to do is open this a little bit, grab my keys, and, I go and I'm gone. I don't have to worry about fishing them out of there and where are they inside of there. And it just, it takes too long and yeah, I just <laughs> don't have that kind of time. So then you zip this back up. Now here's the other cool thing about this that they put on here. These zippers, let me cinch you a little closer. These zippers on this main compartment are lockable. They have the lock loops. So when you put the two zippers together, you can actually put a lock on here and lock it. So when you're traveling, if you have anything important in here, you can lock this and no one can get in. That's actually very, very nice because this bag is designed for travel. For those who do travel photography and they travel from place to place to place, that's what this bag is designed for. Um, and it's, it's a lot easier to travel with this on an airline than it is with the Action X because sometimes that bag can be really big, especially because you have the 30, 50, and 70 liters. Those can be kind of big. This is airline compliant, but you still need to check with your airline to make sure. Now, pardon moi. <clears throat> Once you have this one, then you have another really cool feature that they have put into this bag that is even better for travel photographers and those who work on the run. If you're a travel photographer and you do a lot of your work on the road, on a plane, on a train, in a taxi, whatever, this bag is awesome because of this features alone. There's a big zipper pocket that goes all the way around right here. You undo this and there's another pocket right here. 
This pocket right here is not only accessible from the top, right here, but you can also access it from the back of the bag. So that pocket right there is top and bottom accessible. So whatever you put in here, you can get through to it either way. Also, the back of your bag, this stores your laptop. You can also access that through here. That's where I keep this because I don't carry a laptop. This is my accessory pouch from Shimoda. It's the two-fold that I absolutely love. I have three of these. Um, I keep one in my kayak bag because I keep my kayak accessories in there. And you just slide that back in there. So if you're sitting at the airport or you're sitting on a train and a message comes in and you have to take care of something really quickly and you have your laptop, you don't need to lay it down, unzip it, pull it out. You just zip, pull, you're done. And then you can just toss it back in there. Well, I wouldn't toss it, but you know what I mean. Now, once you zip this back up, here's something else. <laughs> this, I just noticed something else I didn't realize before. The zippers on this are also lockable. They also, just the same as this center compartment, they also have the lock loops. So when you put the two zippers together, they can lock. Now, I just noticed this and didn't realize that as well. The front pouch, this one here that has the two holders, I just realized and just saw they also lock. So all three compartments, hold on, let me check. This one does not lock. All three of the compartments on this bag are lockable. So that way no one can get into this bag from the top, which makes it more secure when you're traveling because if this is on your back and you're in a large crowd, someone could easily unzip this a little at a time without you even knowing it and take your stuff out. You can actually lock all three of them. So that is awesome. All three of these zipper compartments are lockable. That's so cool. I just realized that. Isn't it cool when you're playing with your bag and you find things that you didn't know were there before? I only thought it was the center one. I didn't know it was these two. <laughs> nice. Anyhow, moving on. So you have the three main compartments. Let's move to the bottom of the bag. <laughs> this is cool. All right. I talked about what the material is made out of for this and the fact that it's not waterproof. The bottom of this bag, unlike the original Explore bag, this is made of the same material that's on the bottom of the Action X series. Because of the way that the Action X series is used for adventure photographer and for the fact that it's built tough, it's built for those activities that you know is going to cause problems, dragging it across rocks, across logs, on the ground, everything like that. I always worried about ripping the bottom of my Explore, not this one. Never had that happen and the whole time I've had my Action X and I have put that thing through the ringer. This one is of the same material. It's slightly padded on the bottom so that it, there's a, little, a tiny bit of padding between the bottom of this and your core unit. It does have two drain holes here. So say for instance, you set it down in water. If a little bit of water does get in the bottom, it comes out of here or any moisture, doesn't matter what kind of moisture it is, it has the ability to breathe and the ability to drain that off of there if need be. But the, th <laughs> the creme de la creme of the bottom of this bag is this little handle right here. Show you. So you're out. You got your bag open. You're working from your bag. All of a sudden, you move your tripod and your camera over there. But your bag's over here, completely open. What do you got to do? You got to go over here, zip it back up, pick it up. <laughs> Not anymore. See this handy dandy little handle? You walk over, you grab it, and you carry it over to where you need to go. There is no zipping anymore. You can just pick this bad boy up and move it. I used that feature so much yesterday, that's why the front of this bag has been dropped in all kinds of stuff. Um, it is handy. This little handle really, really makes a big difference when you're out and you need to move this bag. It's awesome. <laughs> I really love this feature they put on the bottom of here. I can't, I can't tell you how much of a handy little item that is. Now, remember when I told you that the pouch in the very back 
was accessible not only from the top but the bottom from the inside of here. And so was your laptop sleeve. This is the inside. Please don't let anything fall out of here. This is that pouch. This is the zipper. Now I keep a couple spare batteries in here and some hand wipes. I can access this from both inside the bag on the top and here. Not only that, I can access my laptop sleeve from not only back here, but inside at the top as well. And you have the medium mirrorless core unit. This right here holds my Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III, 100 to 400 millimeter. It has the 12 to 100, the uh, Panasonic um, 8 to 18, my 60 millimeter macro Olympus, uh, filters, extension tubes, and batteries. This configuration can be changed however you freaking want. My, F, uh, my 300 millimeter F4 lens for wildlife along with this one will not fit in here. I have to reconfigure everything, but I don't care to do that because this, this bag is worth it. But this is the medium mirrorless core unit. Um, and I'm gonna go over uh, the other um, core units in a video. Someone had asked me to please do a video with the other uh, core units set up and what gear can fit inside of them. The other cool thing is Shimoda is part of a Give Back to Nature program, which is stamped on the inside of here. Um, everything that they make, not everything that they make, that sounds horrible, sorry Ian, a uh, portion of what they make goes back to plant trees to give back to nature. You zip this up. Now the other thing about this bag too is they use less marketing. They don't have their symbol or anything, they just have a name here and a name on the straps and that's it. So that it's more conspicuous and looks more like a backpack. Now. Let's go over the back of the bag. All right, so you'll notice something a little different between the back of this bag with the waist belt, the shoulder straps, and the actual back padding on the back opening of this bag than they've had on any of their other bags on the Explore or the Action X series. And that's because they've made this with a different material altogether. These are the women's tech straps. And they're made from a completely different material than what these are. These have air holes and the material inside of this shoulder strap is breathable. Air passes through here, it's less sweating, less bunching, less binding. Um, where with these, they're sort of stiff. Um, they do their job though, trust me, I, I love these straps. Um, but they're not as <sighs> bendable cushy. These are a little bit thicker also, um, so they take a little bit of pressure off of your shoulders and they don't mold you as well. Um, these are great straps, please don't get me wrong. I love these. I will continue to use these. However, after spending five and almost five hours in these straps yesterday, these are the ones that came with the bag. I love these. I had zero, let me say that, zero issue as a large chested woman and a big girl myself with these straps. Um, they didn't pinch, they didn't bind, they didn't push in places they weren't supposed to. They moved with me. I had free flowing action of my arms up, down, all around. I had no problems. They were very, very comfortable and fit very well. Um, the waist belt is also made of the same material. It's breathable. Um, it has the same air holes and everything inside of them. It still has the little pockets on the side for you to put um, like uh, uh, wrappers and stuff like that once you eat your power bars. Um, very comfortable. Slightly thicker than the other waist belts are on the Explore and the Action X. Very comfortable. I had no problems with this waist belt. Also this waist belt on all of the packs, the 25, the 30, and the 35 are removable. So if you're not a waist belt person, you don't like a waist belt, or you're traveling and you just want to get this sucker out of your way and store it inside your bag, it's just Velcroed in the back of here. You just unvelcro it and slide it out. Um, I'm not going to do that because the last time I did that I couldn't get it back in properly on one of my other bags. But it is removable, so that way you can take this out, you don't even have to use it. Um, I do because of my shoulders. That's the only reason why I do. The shoulder straps come with... Um, your attachment loops and your two 
uh, rings that you can attach things to. I usually have my mace on this side and my tripod tools on this side. I left those at home um, like a dir, you know. And then it has these pockets. Now, the pockets, the insides are breathable, but they come with this little loop. And what this little loop is for is so that you can attach, here I'll show you, so that you can attach your Rode wireless mic to the inside of the pouch or any of your audio gear or radio or anything like that. It takes it so that it's more secure. And with these little guys, they don't fall all the way to the bottom and then you're trying to dig them out of there and it's a pain. It gives you an attachment point, which is really, really nice. And then the other side has a zippered pouch also that's expandable and you can put up to a one liter bottle in here. Ian says you can fit a hoagie sandwich in there, but I haven't tested that theory yet. Um, but it also has the attachment loop in here. On exactly is the same as it does on this side. Now I've seen people use this for their radios because it's a nice deep pocket and radios can be big and bulky. They've slid their radio down in here and the belt clip attaches to this. So when they're moving around and bending over, they don't fall out. That's nice. And then you have your two stretchy loops for your bladder hose when you bring it down. You can put it through here if you choose to. It has your cinch straps up here so you can adjust it to the back, your back. You pull them and it moves the bag closer to your back for a better fit. It also still has the torso adjustment, small, medium, and large. Now, what I found weird about this, and I think it's because of the material that the straps are made out of, on my Action X bag, I had to move this down to a small. But on this, I had to keep it at a large. And I think it's because of not only the difference in the bag to a certain degree, but also the straps and how they fit. Um, but I had no issues with being on large. But you can adjust this to whatever size is appropriate for you. And that's nice that they keep that in there. I have, Shimoda has done an amazing thing with this bag. They've pretty much taken the Explore series, the ActionX series, and made a new baby. I mean, they've put everything in it that you could possibly need for travel photography. Also, this is not a bad bag for those of us who, you know, we like to get out there and we like to do certain things, but we're not the snowboarders and the skiers and, you know, the action sports photography. That's, that's, it's not what we do. But I absolutely adore this bag. Um, it's very, very comfortable. I chose the 30 based off of my equipment and what I use because it works well for me. I think the 35 would have been too large um, in certain areas and the 25 would have been way too small based on my equipment because um, I do carry some large <laughs> lenses. I still have my Nikon set up with my 150 to 600, which is quite large. They do have a, on the Kickstarter program, they do have a large mirrorless core unit that is part of the Kickstarter program that you can get to go with one of these bags. Um, I'll be excited to um, get one whenever they start selling those. I'm not sure when that's going to be. Um, but in my opinion, this is an excellent bag. I love the fact that they stuck with the classic Explore zipper pulls that are leather. I love the fact that they did the zipper garages that coat back here in leather. Um, this new shoulder pads and or shoulder straps, the back padding and the waist belt padding are amazing. Um, they're very, very comfortable. I just, I'm in love with this bag. I don't know if I <laughs> we'll use my Action X bag again. I really don't. I probably will for travel if we ever travel anywhere, but this bag is is really, really cool. I highly recommend this bag. For women, this bag fits beautifully. Um, I had no issues with movement. I had no issues with anything with this bag. And like I said, the straps that it comes with being a you know plus size woman and having a large chest, those straps are very comfortable. Um, kudos, kudos to Shimoda and Ian Miller and his design team for designing these straps. They are just amazing. I love them. I will still continue to use my women's tech straps for heavier loads 
but uh, these, these are awesome. Please go check out the Kickstarter program, see what it's all about, and get one of these bags. You won't regret getting a Shimoda bag ever. These have to be the bags, the best bags. I'll probably never use another manufacturer's bag again after this. Um, I highly, highly recommend these. But check them out. Check out uh, Shimoda Design's Facebook page and their YouTube channel. There is tons of information on those pages. Um, Ian and his team are excellent at answering questions. If people have any issues with the bags, he does a video on many, many different things that go with these bags. Um, and they're always there to answer questions if you need anything. So if you liked this video, please click the like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, because I am going to be doing some more videos on the core units of these bags, because I've been asked to show people what gear fits in and what doesn't. And uh, I will see you guys later. Take care.